Welcome to this in-depth look at Project 2025, a controversial initiative that's been making headlines in recent months. Today, we'll explore what Project 2025 is, its goals, and why it's causing such a stir in political circles. Project 2025 is a comprehensive blueprint for the next Republican presidential administration, spearheaded by the Conservative Heritage Foundation. This initiative is composed of four main pillars, a detailed policy guide for the next administration, a LinkedIn-style database of potential personnel, training programs for candidates, dubbed the Presidential Administration Academy, a playbook of actions to be taken within the first 180 days in office. At the heart of Project 2025 is a nearly 900-page policy book titled Mandate for Leadership 2025, The Conservative Promise. This document outlines an extensive overhaul of the federal government, touching every corner of the executive branch. The project is led by former Trump administration officials, including Paul Don, who served as Chief of Staff at the Office of Personnel Management, and Spencer Creighton, a former special assistant to Trump. It's worth noting that Don stepped down from his role in August 2024. While the Heritage Foundation is at the helm, Project 2025 involves an advisory board consisting of more than 100 conservative groups. A complete list of these groups can be found in the description of this video below. Many of the policy recommendations come from familiar names in the Trump administration, such as Russ Vaught, Chris Miller, and Roger Severino. Next up, let's delve into some of the most significant policy recommendations outlined in Project 2025. The plan calls for significant changes to healthcare policies, including withdrawing the abortion pill Mifepristone from the market, eliminating mandated insurance coverage for emergency contraception, prohibiting funding for patients traveling across state lines for reproductive health care, maintaining a biblically-based, social science-reinforced definition of marriage and family. Project 2025 takes a strong stance against climate change initiatives cutting federal money for research and investment in renewable energy, ending the so-called war on oil and natural gas, repealing and eliminating preventive climate change initiatives, replacing carbon reduction goals with increased fossil fuel energy production. The project proposes several changes to economic and social welfare programs cutting and restricting the use of food stamps and social welfare programs, creating more eligibility requirements for Medicaid, implementing a two-rate individual tax system of 15% and 30%, reducing corporate income tax rates, and canceling federal student loan forgiveness programs. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. On immigration, Project 2025 advocates for immediately deporting unaccompanied children, increased funding for a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border, implementing fees for asylum seekers, pausing funding for non-governmental immigration groups, replacing the current immigration system with a merit-based approach. In addition, Project 2025 proposes disbanding federal agencies like the Department of Education and the Department of Homeland Security. It also recommends privatizing others, such as the Transportation Security Agency. Project 2025 has faced significant criticism from Democrats and some moderate Republicans. Critics argue that the plan is too extreme and would lead to a dramatic overhaul of the federal government that could harm vulnerable populations. 
It's important to note that while Project 2025 is often associated with Donald Trump, the former president has tried to distance himself from some of its proposals. Trump has even called some of the recommendations abysmal. As we approach the 2024 presidential election, Project 2025 remains a focal point of political discourse. Whether you view it as a comprehensive plan for conservative governance or a controversial overreach, its potential impact on American policy cannot be ignored. Remember, while Project 2025 provides a roadmap for a potential Republican administration, its implementation would depend on numerous factors, including election results and the political landscape post-2024. Thank you for watching this in-depth look at Project 2025. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more political analysis. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below.